Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a multidimensional healer. I'm a teacher of 5D, and I'm also a Blu-ray Twin Flame, located in Chicago. So how are you today? We are here turning the corner, and I wanna let you know a few things. It's time to be done with the old versions of what you may think was a Twin Flame. The cultish things, the Twin Flame Landia things, this has to be down to you as an individual because you are here for one thing and that is love. However, in order to get there, let me explain some parts of the process and give you the condensed version of this. Okay, number one, you're in a time compression. You are in a huge time compression where things are being funneled. It's a little bit like after a concert ends, like that old event that ended, it's squeezing you, squishing you, pushing you to do the next steps of what you're really here for. So what is that? It is the integration of your brand new twin flame body. Now, some people contend that they're not a twin flame. However, I will say this to you, 5D love still heals you, 5D love still seals you, and 5D love uplifts you. Now it's not a one-time event. You have to make sure that you are staying connected. In fact, that's what I'm here for. Twin flame reconnection. What is the twin flame? The twin flame is actually the etheric body of your other half that's connected to you. Now, some people subscribe to the stupid version of this, which is that somehow there's foolishness and no wisdom and that it's out there in random people and you can swap it out. That is not the case. Before you were ever born, you connected this to your DNA. You connected each other to your DNA. You are already connected to each other. The things that you feel, the things that you experience, they're either things you need to get rid of or they're things that are blissfully delightful and you want more of it. The healing part involves a couple of things. So the healing usually goes in three steps. You're purging, you're releasing, so you're fully letting it go, you're unraveling it, you're detaching it, whatever words you use, you're cutting the cords to it, whatever it has been. Whatever has harmed you, traumatized you, cataclysmed you or anything or your people, we're talking about generational traumas. We've pulled that bad string on that. It is unraveling by the minute right now. <clears throat> you can see it worldwide. Unfortunately, it comes out in the form of conflict, fear, anger. Why? Because as you get squeezed in this time compression, it's welling up from a deep place. And that deep place is in your cosmic root chakra connections. And those are tied to parts of your crown and not the heart because the heart is for each other. So how do you truly get away and get to that third part, which is feeling good? My healing modality, which is the twin flame ring connection works with the twin flame body for doing exactly that integration of the brand new life body, opening of your chakras, your marma points, which are the shared connections, and feeling good. This means that that new body is designed specifically through eons of trial and error of what we do not want to carry with us, what we cannot hold. You cannot hold space for other people that don't belong to you. You cannot hold their angst, their anger, their pains, their fears. Your soul is driving that. Your soul wants you to move along. Your soul and your higher self, so you have your over soul, you have your soul, and you have the higher self of yourself. So you're kind of the lower self and there's a higher self. Healing involves you as an individual and it involves you both and it also involves the patterns that you've had with other people. So this goes very far beyond what you may have thought it is, and yet it is not impossible. 
because I've already created through trial and error and doing this for years, the modality that makes it as simple as possible, easy to follow, and that makes the integration. Now, does it take time? Yes, it does. This is not therapy. This is the way that cuts right to the chase, gets you integrated. So whatever your issues are that you feel you're struggling with, is it a root chakra issue? This can involve business, work, money, um, family, marriage, tribal ties, loyalties, um, things such as uh, where do you know where has your passion been bled out somehow? All those things. Is your trouble in another area? Is it how you are with the rest of the group of souls that you incarnated here with? Is it in the mind? Are you suffering from what could be called mild mental health to severe mental health? And on the mild end, these are things like ADHD, ADD, OCD. We all have minds. We all have brains. We all have an ego mind that has helped us. It is insufficient to get you to 5D. So what do we do? Well, you will go through a patch of time where your body is like peeling that out with my help. This is what I'm here to help with. I'm here to help you stay the course and be new and be in love. So many people kind of stop. They hit that wall and they find that they begin sliding down that wall. They can't get further. They don't not know how to overcome. Um, they try things. Now there are really miraculous things about your light body. I myself have had miracles and I've helped people with that miraculous healing that they are capable of integrating because what is actually being integrated, it's a brand new body for you to use. It's a body that is up here, looks out for you, scans the situation, informs you to pause, warns you, and shall we talk about energetic boundaries? That is one of the huge, hugest things. Energetic boundaries are huge because this is what truly is meant where you're walking, you know, two feet off the ground. You are protected because of where you're going. Now, that is not an excuse to be foolish. And many times people have been in this mode of, well, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, blithely be, I'm sorry, please do not. As we are seeing, it requires you to be vigilant. However, with the help of your higher self, that's not a drawn out task. That is all, it's simply reconnecting yourself. Connect, reconnect, learn the daily routine, join. Now, if you're interested, I have a class coming up and that is going to be on relationships and twin flames. How do you navigate relationships? Are you a married twin flame? How do you navigate your marriage while it's breaking down and not get steamrolled? How do you not roll over and play dead? How do you shift things at work? Because as you're getting funneled through, you still have to do things. You have to drive in traffic, go to work, travel. The holidays are coming. There's all these things, right? And it seems like in a time compression, there's not enough hours in the day to do it. I break it down for you and I make it easy. Now, one more thing about integration of your light body. I wish I could wave a magic wand and just doink people. Doink, doink, doink. Doesn't work that way. People have to participate. This is one of the mistakes that healers have made in the old paradigm. They hold space for people. They've taken on so much stuff. They're, they're more than overloaded empaths. You don't have to be that. You are intended to be sensitive, yet vigilant, not overly empathic, able to interact with people, not let them bog you down. There's a very balance. So if you're at this extreme, shoop, we bring you to the middle. If you're at this extreme, shoop, we bring you to your middle ground. That integration takes a minimum of three segments, three sessions, three parts of my webinar, this is why I run them in three parts, because then people are genuinely 
devoting the time, energy, effort, and attention to themselves. And believe me, I get you focused on love. So I hope to see you there. I hope that this explains parts of the process you're going through. I hope that you stay away from cults and some of the weirdness because someone please explain to me, how is a tarot card supposed to integrate your body? If you're, if you're suffering, if you need this, like I'm saying, this is working 10 times faster than traditional things, than traditional talking about it, than traditional emergency room visits, it works. I've seen it and I have the people that are on their merry way to do things. That's success, that is my definition of success. Does it negate those things? No, no. I sense that my own twin flame is also a part of that, but we are bringing it together. You're bringing all of the Eastern with the Western and the common sense and the love. That's the way I see it. So please join me. Write to me with your questions and I hope to see you there. Bye now.